Hello. What's up, everybody? It is Matt Modi with Odds Jam. As you probably know by now, if you're tuning in, I'm a content producer and betting analyst for Odds Jam. But more importantly, no one cares about me at a moment like this. What they really care about is my dog is up here. So, Josh, come here. Come here. Come here. I got to show everybody the dog. She has a big game tonight. Come here. Yeah, there she is. Everybody say hi to Jojo. She is a chocolate lab who is hating her life right now. Um, but, oh, and now Carson came up. He wants to say hi. He's getting jealous. Um, and there goes Jojo. So um, dogs are hanging out with me today. They're going to help me place some positive expected value bets. Um, sorry if you hear the noise in the background. They're just biting on some bones. Um, but they are very profitable sports bettors. They really know how to identify mathematically profitable bets. So I like to have them up here with me when I'm doing these live streams. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, my name is Matt Modai again. Um, what I'm going to be doing today, as you are probably aware of, is just going to be placing some positive EV bets. So scanning the Ajdan Plus EV page, uh, talking a little bit about my strategy and how I've been a profitable, positive, expected value better using Ajdan, all that good stuff. Um, but before I start, uh, the, the most important thing you can do as a sports better is just to be signed up for every sports book that's available to you. So uh, what I always recommend people doing when they ask for advice is sign up everywhere, every sports book that's available in your state. So whether you're in Virginia like me, I think there's like eight or nine sports books available or in your Colorado and there's like almost 30, uh, the Mecca of sports betting. It's incredibly incredibly important to be signed up everywhere that's available to you. Um, I really cannot stress that enough. It's the easiest way to be a profitable sports better because you're just giving yourself the highest percent chance of um, the highest percent chance of identifying a positive expected value bet. Now, let me just make sure one second, make sure that my audio is working here and we're good. Sometimes I've had issues with my mic. So I just want to make sure that my audio is good. Um, but yeah, I really can't stress enough. Make sure that you are, Sign up everywhere you can and use those links in the description. So if you're if there's a sports book that you realize you're not signed up with, look at the links in the description and then just use those links to sign up and they can give you a sign up bonus to take advantage of risk free bet. Sometimes it's just five, bet five bucks, get 250, depending on the book. But either way, use those links to your advantage. Um, now I will share my screen to give you some examples of why positive EV betting can be so profitable. Okay. It's not great for the camera. Here you go. Sorry, she was chewing the bone right next to me, which I'm sure you guys could hear. Um, now she's mad at me. Um, so here's my Odd Jam home screen. Let me zoom in a little more. Um, so this shows you all the information about my bets with Odd Jam. Um, every bet I place, I use the bet tracker. Um, it's completely free. So even if you aren't a paid subscriber of Odd Jam, you can use this bet tracker for completely free. Um, it's an amazing tool. It it inputs all the information on your bets. So like the odds, how much you put in. So it gives you the potential payout. Um, it tells you whether your bet is green or red, which I love. I had a couple. Oh, I had, so this maxi one was actually red, but now it's green. So all my bets that I've placed today are currently green. That is an awesome feeling. And, and they're some of them are not even close. Like, what's the closest one? I guess this first half over and this uh, Rockets covering 15 and a half. But either way, um, it tells you whether your bet's green and red, meaning whether it's beating closing line or whether it's not beating closing line. Obviously, green equals good. Red equals bad. So you want to make sure you have as much green as possible on your bet tracker. And that's why it's incredibly helpful. So it tells you whether your bet is no longer beating closing line. And then if it's not, sometimes you can cash it out. So that way you're uh, you're not betting on a negative expected value bet. Um, another thing that I love about the bet tracker, which is a new feature released, a, it's only a couple of weeks old, is it auto grades your bets now. So right now, the status, it says pending. Um, once the games are over, I believe it's every six hours, it auto grades your bets. So for me, I'm betting a ton of, uh, of um, night games. Like, let's see, I'm not going to stay up for this Portland Trailblazers Phoenix Suns game starts at like 1030 10, 10 East coast time. I'll be asleep by the time tip off happens. I just wake up and I can see if my Deandre Ayton point total bet one or not. Um, it's an amazing, it's an amazing feature. So I just wake up and more often than not, I see my profit over time increase. So, um, up over a hundred bucks for the week so far, which is just two days of betting. Um, it's funny. I yesterday, 
so Monday night, a lot my public plays were mostly crap. Um, my NCAA bets went over three. My player props went one for one. I had two public Twitter plays that both lost publicly. Every bet I put out there lost, but all the, the bets I took a on the live stream and B just my own personal bets that I didn't post anywhere because I can't give you guys access to everything. Those bets did pretty well. So I was still up for the week. And yesterday I felt like was the exact opposite. Um, I guess my player props didn't do, do that well publicly. I believe I went two for four on the player props, but almost every play I posted on Twitter hit. I had a really good day in that regard. So either way, I'm up for the week. That's all that matters. Since I've been using Ajdam, I've only had four down weeks and I've been using it since like the beginning of September, pretty much since the start of football season. So um, again, all this information is completely free with the bet tracker. It, it's amazing. So profit by bet type, I can see I'm incredibly profitable, positive EV sports better, which is good because that's the bread and butter of uh, how you can make money using Ajdam. And then I love this profit by sports book. So at one point that MGM, I had, I had been up like four grand, I think with bet MGM, I've had a little bit worse luck with them recently. So I'm no longer up as much. Now I'm only up 3,400 only, but uh, it just shows uh, what sports books I have the best luck with. Um, it doesn't necessarily change my mind on whether I'm going to bet a positive EV bet or not. I'll talk to you about what my strategy is there, but it's just nice to see. Like points bet is relatively new in Virginia. I came legal and I think in December, but I have, um, I've been pretty well betting on points bet. So I just like to see that. And then profit by sport, incredibly profitable betting on basketball, which is nice. They're not specified is football. I just, that was when I was first using the product, I forgot to put in the sport, but a little bit is tennis profit as well. Why not? 150 at 152. So um, now let's get to the positive EV page. And uh, so what you see here is every single bet that uh, Odds Jam deems to have positive expected value associated with it. Um, the way it calculates whether a bet has positive EV or not is just from the Odds Jam perfect line. So the Odds Perfect Line is the sharpest tool out there as far as pricing lines. Um, it's what Odds Jam deems to be the true line of a market. So we use the Odds Perfect Line to set what we believe the market should be, what Odds Jam, I, I shouldn't say we, believes what the market should be. And then we identify situations in which you are getting better odds on a sports book. So this is why being signed up for every sports book in your state is so important because the more sports book the more sports books you're signed up for, the higher chance you have of finding a bet that has positive expected value. So if you want to be a profitable sports better, you're doing yourself a disservice. Excuse me. If you are not signed up everywhere. Um, and the way this page works, it's so like the percent, uh, the larger the gap between the odds jam perfect line and what you're getting in on a sports book, the higher their percentage. So 12% has more positive expected value associated with it than three percent right that should make sense hopefully it makes sense to people um but a lot of common questions one of the common questions i get is okay so now that i know what everything means do you just bet every play on here that you see have positive expected value and the answer to that is no you don't bet every single one the first thing you should look for when you want to place a bet is the market width um, I, I'm terrible at pronouncing that market with W I D T H. Um, what that number indicates is the confidence that the odds jam perfect line has in what they are pricing a market at. So the way you calculate it, uh, hi, Jojo. the way you calculate it is you just, if it's a plus and a minus, like it is here, you just subtract those two numbers. So in this case, 176 minus or minus 126 would be 50 cents in market width. Um, so the rule of thumb is anything above 40 cents for a player prop, I would not recommend betting. Uh, Ajdan would not recommend betting as well. So this hockey one, not a play. This next one, two minuses, just means you add them together. So 130, so it's 32 plus two, 34 cents in market width. This one would be a play. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this one in. Boyan. Bogdanovich looks like it's plus 135 bet rivers and barstool. So let me go ahead and log in the bet rivers and tell me it's a $77 play. Um, what I'm looking at here is just the calculator that um, calculates everything with the positive expected value play. The amount to wager comes from my bankroll. So it uses the Kelly criterion method, which you don't need to know how that formula works. Just know that what it does is it takes your bankroll and, um, 
and multiplies it some percentage by what the oxygen perfect line deems the true line to be multiplied by what the odds you're getting it at. So, um, so the a the higher percent chance of the bet hitting means it would tell you to put more money on it, and b the uh, wider the gap between the odds and perfect line and what you're betting it at would tell you to put more money on it. But I think the odds changed on this one, unfortunately. So this is no longer a play. Um, so I can't lock that one in. But um, other than that, so the rule for player props, like I said, nothing above 40%. The rule for game props is nothing above 25%. We, um, we since player props have a little more variance associated with them, we up that percentage a little bit just so we could actually bet them if we, Limited player props to also 25 and below, there wouldn't be any available. So um, that's just a way we've kind of identified um, player props to be. But the way to protect yourself, because there are a ton, like almost everything here you see is a player prop, right? The way to protect yourself and not bet every single one is I've identified anything below 5 to 7%, I don't believe is worth betting for, an, for a player prop, NBA or hockey. So um, and I mostly assign that number just based on how much is available. So like today there's a ton of stuff that's available above 7%. So that is where I'll draw the line on other days. If it's a slower NBA day, uh, or NHL, then I might do it at 5%. But if you see, if I had it at 5%, there'd be a ton of bets here. So sometimes I'll do 6%, but generally never anything below 5%. And then depends on the availability for everything else. So actually it looks like this boy on one is still a play on bet MGM and barstool, but. Um, not on bet rivers. All right. So none of these are a play 50, what's this 49, 58, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here's one player goals, Mitch Marner over 0.5. This one's exactly 39 cents in market width. So this one would be a play. I need to lock this in on DraftKings. So let me log in. And the play is in the Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Sabres. Mitch Marner over 0.5 goals plus 145. This is a $60 wager. So let me log in. What's JoJo doing? Dogs have mostly calmed down. Carson's taking a nap. JoJo's walking around. Nope, I need to go to NHL. Uh, player props. So I need to go. It was this game, and it was goals. I guess it was anytime score. Yep, here we go. Uh, and it was a $65 play. Now JoJo's right here. A $60 play. Excuse me. Not so and always round up or down. That's the piece, best piece of advice I can give you. Always round up or down. Hi, Jojo. What are you doing down there? You want to say hi? No, she doesn't. She's a little camera shy. It's not, not actually true. She loves the camera. All right. So now that I've locked that bet in, the next thing to do is to add it to your bet tracker, which, again, is completely free. All you need to do that if you're using the Plus EV page is just click, click the plus button here. Make sure you're putting it on the right side. Click save. And now it's there. So let me refresh this. Um, looks like there's nothing else above uh, 7%. So I'll just do it above six. So I can, I'll do one more player prop and then I'll do some game props and then I'll get out of here. So the next one, Tobias Harris over one and a half made threes. As a Sixers fan, I don't love backing Tobias Harris. Uh, he seems to be the one player, hi Jojo, who has not taken to James Harden being there, but plus money positive expected value. I'll suck it up and I'll bet it 50 bucks. I also backed him in my player props of the day. For those of you who watch that, if you have not, I recommend it. Uh, I took his over assist total because it was a positive expected value play and I always trust the math. So, and then let's see, there's nothing else above 7%. No, there's not. All right. So um, I got some player props in. Uh, let me show you what it's like just to find some game props. So you'll notice the percentage is a little bit lower uh, as far as what's available. Um, player props that you see a ton of positive expected value bets just because one, there's so many of them. And two, because there's so many of them, it's hard for every sports book to price a player prop 100% correctly. So all we're doing when we're using the positive EV page is we're identifying a situation in which we are getting positive expected value based on what the odds jam perfect line prices it to be. And you'll see a lot of that with a player prop again, because how sports books price player props specifically vary so much but with game props they're generally pretty pretty close to um pricing it around the same so finding a game prop that has really high positive expected value 
can be sometimes more valuable than finding a player prop, uh, which in this case we did not. But what I like doing for game props is if I find a play that has 15 cents or below, I'll almost put double what my calculator tells me to put on it, depending on the play. Sometimes I put quad, triple. And one time when I was feeling a little reckless, I put quadruple. But So let me find if there is an example of a situation where the um, market width is 15 and below. And then, I, I'll, like I said, I'll put double on that. I did actually one of my plays on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter at my handle below, Matt underscore Modi underscore bets, I posted an example of one that was less than 15 cents. And I, I loaded that bad boy. But I'm not seeing any luck so far. Uh, Rockets were one of my plays. I took them. This So this this one, it's not tonight. So this live stream, excuse me, I just want to bet on stuff that's tonight. Um, all right. Well, that's lame. I think this happened yesterday too. So fortunately, I, I'm, I, there isn't one that I found that's above um, or below 15%, but that's fine. Um, let me go ahead and add in more player props. And if there are known, if there are no more player props above seven percent that are within market width, then I'll just go ahead and skedaddle on out of here. Maybe I'll let's get one more bet in. I don't like betting on blocks. I've noticed bad luck with blocks. Um, so here's one: thirty-six cents a hockey play. Another DraftKings one: Roman Josie Yozi over three and a half shots on goal, plus one one thirty-five on DraftKings. Ajan Perfect Line has it at plus one hundred six. Price is the other side at minus 142, so that's 36 cents in market width. So my calculator tells me to bet 50 bucks. I'll round up to 50 bucks, and this will be my last bet of the night. So these live streams are more educational than they are um, supposed to be just simply giving you guys bets to take. But the goal is we want to show people that um, you don't really need to. Oh, man, there's JoJo. Um you don't need to dedicate all day refreshing, constantly refreshing the positive EV page. All you need to do is dedicate 10, 15 minutes and you can place a lot of bets. Um, if I was just doing this and not talking and wasting time messing around with the dogs, I could have placed a lot more, I could have placed a lot more bets, but ooh, Joel and B. I already took this one. Hell yeah. Uh, that was one of my player props. Um, but yeah, so all you need to do is, is find 10, 15 minutes and you can place 10, 15 bets depending on what the plus EV page is looking like. Um, but but yeah, so three bets added them to my tracker. Uh, looks like they haven't updated as far as this closing line yet, which is fine. It's updates, I believe, every 10 minutes. So uh, everything else is green, which is nice. This one lost. Uh, all my pending ones are green. Um, but yeah, so I can't stress enough, one, how important it is to be signed up with the bet tracker. Like I said, it's completely free to use. It doesn't cost you any money, and it gives you access to all of these different views that you can have to like, just make yourself a more profitable sports better. Um, obviously we would like you to sign up at least for a free trial, try it for seven days. And I guarantee you'll want to sign up for the year after doing that. Um, if not just cancel, no harm, no foul, but, um, I really think you guys will find the value, but in order to find the value, you do need to be signed up for every sports book that's available in your state. So I really cannot stress that enough. Um, again, the reason why my positive EV page was so popping with plays is because I'm signed up everywhere. That's legal to me. In Virginia. I mean, just look at all this. Um, obviously, I didn't go through it and bet every single one. Uh, I will when I hang up and I'm actually not talking while doing it. Um, but um, so if there's a if there's a sports book that's legal in your state that you're not signed up with, sign up using that link, using the links in the description. Make yourself a profitable sports better. And if there's another way you want to make money, you can actually become a, a partner of Odds Jam. So just look for the link. It's one of the first ones. Uh, you can be a partner. Uh, you refer people to Ajdam and every payment they make to Ajdam, you get a percentage of. Um, and yeah, just another way you can you can uh, make some money using Ajdam. But as far as this live stream goes, that's all I got for you. I go to I got to go let Jojo out. You can probably hear barking at me. It's dinner time. She's hungry. I can't really blame her for that. I bark when I get hungry too. But as far as this live stream goes, that's all I got for you. So hope you enjoyed it. Hit me up on Twitter with any thoughts, Matt underscore Modi underscore bets. And uh, other than that, let's start cashing. So have a good one.